This is the Paragon 28 Gorilla MTP plating system. What you see here is what shows up to every single case, okay? So I just wanted to start with that because some surgeons have asked uh, in certain cases, you know, if they're only using, say, the, the small primary plates up top, do I always get the revision plates? And every, the answer is yes. Every single time you do a case, this is the caddy that shows up. We offer a ton of options, not just in our MTP system, but in every other plating system that we have. We go above and beyond with plating options. But for now, let's focus on what we have here in this caddy. So this top region here, these are our primary MTP plates. So we have a small, medium, and large length offering in our primary plates. They are offered in zero, five, and 10 degrees of dorsiflexion. If I remove this caddy, you'll see down below, I have longer plates down here. These are revision plates. These are graph spanning plates. But up here, what we did is we listened to the field, what surgeons were seeing, issues they were running into with traditional MTP plates. And this might be hard to see, but this plate in my right hand has three holes on the distal cluster. The plate in my left hand has two holes. So what we did is we just simply clipped off that distal hole for patients that have smaller anatomy where maybe you run out of real estate for that distal screw. Those are offered in zero, five, and 10 degrees as well. These primary plates, so the plates that you see here and here, these are 1.3 millimeters thick, so a very low profile plate. When you put the screws in these plates, they do not get thicker. That's very important for me to share because I've worked with companies in the past where um, they're marketed as being low profile plates, but the second you put a non-locking screw in the plate, all of a sudden it goes from being 1.3 millimeters thick to 1.8 millimeters thick because of head prominence. All of our screws sit inside the plate, zero uh, head prominence. Now, if we go down below, these are our revisional plates. So we have a small, medium, and large options, right and left, five degrees of dorsiflexion built in. Down below, we have our graft spanning plates. In a different video, I will show um, our options as far as the trials, and even a demonstration, um, plastic imitation, graft of our MTP disc so you can get an idea of why we created the graft spanning plates. These are designed to span the graft uh, for a complex primary or um, a situation where you need to add length uh, for the procedure. Now, over here we have our instrumentation. You're probably familiar with cup and cone reamers. Um, not every company offers these in their sets, which is surprising to me, but we do. So we have our K-wires that work with our cone reamers and our cup reamers. We have matching sizes for our cup and cone reamers. One cool feature that is not necessary but just simply available is we have these reamer guards that connect to the reamers, okay? So you can protect the surrounding tissue, surrounding bone um, while you're spinning the reamers at a high speed. And those are offered for both the cone reamers, these work with the cone reamers, these work with the cup reamers. Down below we have the precision guide, which I will share more information about in the next video.